Viewer discretion is advised. I'm a photographer. I take pictures of things professionally, mostly people, nature, moments, etc. One day, I saw something weird while driving through West Virginia on a job. It was a large bird thing on top of a bridge. Had these bright red eyes too. Heck, I wasn't sure if it was even a real bird. I later found out that it was called the Mothman. Many others had reported seeing it as well. Apparently, it's a well-known myth or legend, I should say, in Point Pleasant. A few weeks went by, that strange creature would pop up in my dreams every now and then. One night, I was shooting in a dark alley. Suddenly, I heard what sounded like something circling me from above. Hesitating, I looked up and saw these red, scary eyes watching me. Nope! I immediately rushed to my car and hit the gas. This thing freaking chased me to the ends of the earth. I was going 75 for crying out loud, but it was always right on top of me, keeping pace. And for some insane reason, I took another picture of the red-eyed winged beast. A few days went by. Somehow, I was still alive. It just kind of stopped chasing me after a while. I held on to my photos of the creature. Wasn't sure if I should be sharing them online. I had a feeling that bad things might happen if people were to see the photos. As a journalist, it's my responsibility to investigate rumors, however ridiculous, and keep them away from the public if untrue. But this, this blurs the very line between fantasy and reality. Where do they come from? What do they want? What are they? After a year, I stumbled across an image of the Mothman posted by someone else online. It looked to be hanging from a bridge. Then a week later, the unthinkable happened. That bridge collapsed. Countless people died, and the Mothman was never seen again. Is what I've been afraid of all this time coming true? The key to the Mothman's appearance? <sighs> I recently caught wind that the creature now lives near the Golden Gate Bridge. Please keep a lookout and take care. Hello everybody, I'm The Rubber. Today, we bring you SCP Foundation Euclid Class Object SCP-2901. SCP-2901, also known as Mothman, is a species of nocturnal carnivorous scavengers. These entities have limited intelligence and average roughly 5 foot 6 inches in height. 2901 usually appear as having an ovoid shape with two large red eyes, similar to moths and butterflies. 2901 are covered in a layer of tiny, shimmery, plate-like scales. Mothmen can levitate, take flight, and even teleport, being able to move through space-time freely. They are, however, tangible and susceptible to conventional firearms. They can also produce a soundproof dome that cancels out sound within a 27-yard radius. The purpose of this ability is not wholly understood, but it is theorized to help conceal their presence. Suitable containment methods are currently still under discussion. However, due to the elusiveness of 2901 from the Foundation's grasp, it is possible that a large majority of the general public are already aware of their existence, due to their continued presence near tragedy sites. Thus, temporary countermeasures are put in place to block off information on 2901 from the public. SCP-2901's first attack was observed near the town of Point Pleasant in West Virginia, USA in 1967, following the collapse of the Silver Bridge. A month prior, there were various reports of sightings of winged creatures with bright red eyes circling the bridge area. The most prominent account was retrieved from a photographer from out of town. His story helped the Foundation solidify the theory that 2901 are able to sense the time and location of future disasters with a certain degree of accuracy, particularly those resulting in multiple deaths. This is supported by accounts and reports showing the sudden appearance of 2901 in the vicinity of disaster areas, usually from a week to a month before they happen. Following research and field observations, it is concluded that 2901 are an aggressively territorial and solitary species. However, they normally won't engage or reveal themselves openly to humans, and will often retreat or vanish if discovered. Before disaster strikes, numerous 2901 instances will pop up and claim rights to the area. This results in clashes between 2901 instances. Unfortunately, human bystanders may sometimes be mistaken as threats as well. During these altercations, mothmen will change their physical shape into a larger, hazier form to intimidate others. 
Once disaster has struck, the remaining 2901 will go into a frenzy and feed off the deceased. Upon depleting the food source, they simply vanish. Still, the questions remained of SCP-2901's true nature and motives, if any, as well as the correlation between their timely appearance and incoming disasters. So, Mr. Klein, you mentioned spotting a winged man with bright red eyes standing atop the bridge while you were crossing it, correct? Yes, that was a week or two before the bridge collapsed. Terrible, terrible disaster. I think the locals called it the Mothman. Noted. Did you see what the Mothman was doing on the bridge? No, I only saw it standing there, just staring at me menacingly. I know it sounds funny, but it was as if that thing was trying to tell me to stay away. Dr. Pellington nodded. He then took out a series of photographs and slid them towards Klein. They were photos of the Mothman taken by Klein himself. These are the photos you took, correct? Yeah. Something wrong with them? They were found on numerous websites, blogs, and forums. Since then, Mr. Klein, more rumors of seeing the Mothman began to surface. I was… I'm so… so sorry. I shouldn't have posted them online. What do you mean by that? I've been thinking. What if these Mothmen only appear when disasters are about to happen? Or maybe the disasters are all they're doing? I don't know. But these things are definitely tied closely to the incidents. Trust me. I thought about it very, very hard. But in the end, I I just had to know. So I posted the photos online. And soon after, more sightings of Mothman popped up. Exactly. These are myths, urban legends, you see. And where do urban legends stay, so to speak? In the human mind. So what I'm thinking is that as long as people think about the Mothman, it will continue to exist. And the only way to make it disappear completely is to wipe the memories of Mothman off everyone. But sadly, me posting the photos online may have made it worse. Thank you. While your actions have complicated the situation, you've also helped shed some much needed light on this phenomenon. You're free to go. Klein was then amnestized and released. Following the interview, the Information Detraction, Censorship and Recession Division, or ID card for short, launched Operation Surgeon's Photograph to quell and contain 2901. First, certain keywords related to 2901 would be routinely searched and red flagged on daily reports. Pages will be reviewed by selected teams, then remitted to the tactical planning team to determine the severity and the next course of action. The next step is the disinformation campaign. Dozens of online dummy accounts for media sharing websites are created and managed by ID Card's special cyberspace unit. Using these accounts, Content regarding the presence and or glorification of Mothman will be made widely available. This is done to purposefully saturate any shared leaked footage or images of 2901 with fake ones. Action. Additionally, the foundation front company, Studio City Productions, will create several low-budget documentaries of SCP-2901 that includes other well-known cryptids from folklore. This will prompt the general public to further question the validity of Mothman's existence. However, the plan backfired. In 1968, a year after the tragedy in Point Pleasant, multiple 2901 instances were sighted near the Golden Gate Bridge. A severe car crash had occurred with multiple pileups due to low visibility caused by excessive fogging. Multiple civilian casualties were reported with many injured. Unfortunately, most of them were devoured by 2901. A Foundation task force was dispatched to the scene, alongside emergency services to help fend off and contain the anomaly. Upon arrival, 2901 instances were seen feeding on the bodies, some of which were still alive. They opened fire, but 2901 simply shrugged off their bullets. Unlike previous encounters, these instances were highly aggressive. The team eventually neutralized them with the help of extra firepower, but at the cost of the lives of a few members and medical personnel. Survivors were amnestized, and the incident was covered up. Damn it! I thought we had these things under control. I thought they were just a bunch of leeches and cowards. When did they get so strong and aggressive all of a sudden? It appears that this phenomena depends on the general populace's imagination. While it is true that we have put out subliminal messages that Mothman is nothing but a hoax via various channels, people have a morbid tendency to believe in myths and urban legends. Mothman is no exception. They want to believe that it's deadly, aggressive, and wants nothing but to harm humans. 
I hate the human race sometimes. How about we just, I don't know, suppress any files or imagery pertaining to Mothman? Or just straight up wipe it off the net and amnestize the populace? Can we do that? The latter might violate certain ethical codes. Suppression of information, however, sounds doable. Good. Get it done. Hopefully by next week, we'll be done with Mothman. Foundation researchers then isolated 2901 as much as possible. However, deprived of regular perceptual input from the population, 2901 began to devolve into highly unstable manifestations, making it harder to be contained. What's more, public fear and perception of Mothman as an aggressive being remain largely unchanged, causing it to adopt even more predatory behaviors. With these two factors combined, 2901 instances would manifest in seemingly random locations around the world, causing various tragic events to follow shortly. Neutralization also proved difficult, as they were now invulnerable to firearms. We'll never be done with these bastards, will we? Most likely not. Hopefully, with time, people will find something else to distract themselves from Mothman. Like what? Another anomaly that preys on morbid thoughts? I don't know, sir. For now, we can only attempt to manage 2901's evolution into a more docile and manageable concept. And hopefully, that means no more spooky wingman. <sighs> Come, we've got work to do.